Good evening everyone, it's Krebs here, and welcome to another War Thunder episode. This time around we're going to be taking a look at some higher level USSR planes, as in higher than the last episode. I believe in the last episode we were taking a look at level 4s, possibly 5s, I can't remember exactly what we were looking at. I think it was 5s. But this time around we're going to be taking a look at the 6s and such, and we'll be comparing them... Uh, to the previous ones, and also just displaying what's so special about them. One of them is really, really cool. So how are you guys doing? It's night time. I don't usually cast at night time, but who the hell cares? Krebs, get on with the show. Right. So the USSR planes, I've been absolutely loving them thus far. I have almost no complaints about them. Maybe one of the things I could complain about them is sometimes the turning rates. I feel like... Other planes can outturn me, depending on the factions. I feel like I'm always in a, a bit of a contest when I'm against like Brit planes or Jap planes, but though they're known to be a bit more maneuverable, if anything. I know the stats sometimes say that, oh, the turn time will be a bit more than this plane for the USSR, but I'm telling you guys, like I've, I get the hunch whenever I'm taking on like a Brit plane, for example, that they'll be able to outpace me, uh, especially some certain Spitfires. Uh, I know the Spitfire Mark I has a pretty decent uh, turning rate. So anyway, let's take a look at the planes that we're going to be using today. So the ones that I want to showcase the most are the uh, Tier 6 ones, such as the Yak-1B over here. So this is going to be introducing the Yak line for the USSR. It has a, a single 12.7mm machine gun and single 20mm uh, cannon. So powerful stuff, but remember it's just singles, it's not twins or doubles or whatever. Uh, its turn time is 18.5 seconds, which isn't bad at all for a tier 6. This is a star that I want to show you guys, though. <laughs> the Era Cobra. Right. At the very bottom, you'll notice it has a 37mm cannon, okay? That, this thing is very, very powerful. And it's not only that, it has a ton of machine guns on it as well. In terms of firepower, this thing is an absolute joke. <laughs> it's very, very strong, especially for something that's tier 6. If you think the bow fighter is bad, this is quite as bad. It can sometimes uh, take out planes in a single shot with that cannon. One downturn for it is the turn time, 22.4 seconds. It's not as bad as some other ones out there, but it's still uh, marginally bad. But what you should actually take a look at here is the Era Cobra is a premium plane, okay? So you won't be able to unlock it normally unless you spend those golden eagles uh, to get it. Could that mean that, I don't know, some people will probably scream, oh, that's, you know, pay to win, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you could consider it to be pay to win because you unlock stuff earlier. You do get the cannons eventually. You get them on the Yak-90, but I don't really have an opinion on it. I think it separates the planes out, if anything, and maybe it's supposed to be an incentive for people to try and spend Golden Eagles. At least that's what I think, anyway. Okay, so that is what we're going to be uh, jumping on into, so let's go ahead and get some battles. See how well we do in these planes. It is so fun. Once you get up to level 8, you unlock the Yak-9T and also... And also, I can't remember... <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, you also unlock the... It's the Aero, it's the Aero Cobra SU. It was a plane that was on special uh, just a few days ago from the making of this video uh, where they're selling that plane for a limited time. Uh, so if you actually manage to buy it, then essentially by level 8 with the USSR, you'll have three planes with the <laughs> ridiculous cannon on it. It's an absolute crazy cannon. So, uh, yes, you might lose one plane or two planes during the match, but you'll always have that third one out to actually uh, bring more menacing havoc onto the field. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on into the Aero Cobra first because we're talking about this is so much in a good light that uh, I bet you guys are anticipating Krebs to uh, go ahead and try it. So we're playing Domination Stalingrad. All right, so we're on this side. It's either A or B. What I'm going to do is just hang around uh, this area where our uh, targets are. And we're going to wait to see if any bombers come in this direction. Because if they do, then I will try to show you the power of the cannon. 
bombers are still hard to uh, sometimes shoot down with this cannon, depending where you hit them, of course. But it's a lot easier than using machine guns. Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. The cannon, you'll maybe spend about half of the rounds, so about 15 rounds, uh, missing a few of them here and there. But you'll actually manage to destroy a bomber, uh, like a Blenheim or whatever, ones that are normally hard to uh, destroy. Backing you up, Krebs, go. Oh, thank you. Uh, affirmative. Okay, so we got a bunch of guys over here. F2A and also that Kai. Right, I'm not going to bother with him because he's in a different direction. Let's go for that F2A and no, nope, we're not going to bother with him either because he's heading in a different direction. Maybe we'll bother with the BF-110. Yeah, it looks like he's going to actually come down for some kills. Uh, let's see how well we can do against him. And hopefully this will be a good example of what the cannon's going to be like. Oh, my game just lagged there a bit. Sorry about that, guys. So you can see I'm getting a number of shots. And he's still not dead. Okay. Right, I've got a bit too much speed. Still haven't managed to sh shoot him down. But there's been a lot of... <laughs> there's been a lot of shots. Uh, right, we've got a lag coming in straight on top. I know I should reload, but I want to see if I can shoot this guy down. And there we go, we're out of the cannons. So it's only 30 rounds, you can't expect too much out of it. Right, let's see if we can uh, get onto the tail of this lag. And can we display what the cannon's like? Come on, Krebs! Get him! Get him! No! Oh, damn it. It's quite hit or miss with this thing, isn't it? This plane can be a little bit difficult to use. You gotta get these shots directly on uh, with the cannon. But when you do, when you do it right, it's derp. It's absolute derp. Let's see if we can get this BF-110. There we go! That's more like it. Got a bit of the cannon action there. Uh, let's see if we can take out this JU-87 out of the sky as well. Cannon would be nicer. Yeah, there you go. Cannon showing its spirits as soon as it's reloaded. Boom. He's out of the sky. Okay, two kills thus far. Uh, have a little bit of an injured engine at the moment. Okay. Um, what can we go for? It looks like a big dogfight. And to be honest, like you guys saw what the turn time was. Was like on this plane. It's it's not the best, um, so it can be a bit hard to dogfight at times. You'll get plenty of kills. Don't get me wrong, but uh, whenever you get into turning battles, it's gonna be a bit difficult. All right. I was just backing off a little bit over here because I wasn't sure what was actually behind. I didn't want to be going into the midst of uh, a whole bunch of guys and not having any support. All right. Air assists times three. Love it. And we've got an SP just below us. Let's see if we can get him out. Well, damage this fuel tank. That'll do for now. Turn again. Turn again. And let's fire. Especially when he's turning on the side here. Woohoo! That's how we do it. That's how we do it. And Bullfighter coming straight on, let's dodge him, swivel to the side a little bit whenever a Bullfighter is coming on straight at you, because honestly, a Bullfighter, to understand a Bullfighter, you have to play a Bullfighter. Uh, honestly, they, as soon as they're coming straight at you, and they need to adjust, they, they can't do it. They can't adjust their shots, it's too hard. Uh, can we get this BF-110? Yes, we can. It's a troll gun, isn't it? It's a troll gun. Okay, and uh, we've got a damaged oil tank on TPF, so a bomber, big, big ass bomber this thing is. Ah, and his flap is wrecked. Mm, I don't know if he's doing the right thing. See, sometimes a lot of pe people will try to swivel and go out of control like this. 
uh, just try to outturn you. Oh, I'll just let him die. I swear if somebody kills Steel's that uh, he's gonna kill Steel, isn't it? Oh, I'm telling you, somebody kill. Man, I think somebody kills Stole that. <laughs> anyway, sometimes when you got somebody on you, a lot of people will tend to uh, just you know do go into turning war. They're trying to outturn people, blah blah blah. Is that the right thing to do? Well, it's definitely not the wrong thing to do. Uh, but there's better ways to do it. Sometimes you, what's well, a better plan? Is to not crash into your ally. <laughs> Sometimes what's a better plan is to go to your allies. Not like what Krebsy was doing there. Go to your allies. Start flying towards them. And literally just go crazy with your mouse. Like what I'm doing right now. Be as erratic. You don't even have to know what you're doing. Just fly around like this. Going around like this. Honestly, it's one of the most annoying things. Uh, move around your, your uh, rudder pitch left and right, move your mouse in circles, because uh, honestly the worst thing that you can do, and I sometimes think it's even worse than uh, somebody uh, turning, is just going crazy, being really erratic with your motions. Uh, it can be really hard to actually be accurate against somebody when they're doing something like that. Oh god, I swear this buffalo. Yeah. Uh, so that's another good way to take down uh, big targets. For like the bow fighters and the uh, and any bombers and such like that. Sometimes, if you notice when I'm playing my gameplays, uh, I will actually specifically aim for the engines and also uh, the wings because if you go for the body, you know how many shots you're gonna have to take. Even if you have that big 37 millimeter cannon, you know how many shots it's gonna take to actually take it out if you hit it in the body. So that's why I just go for the wings, go for the engine, sweet spots. Okay, D3 over here. And... Oh! That's the game over. Well, that was fast. That was very fast. Mm. Okay, so Krebsy was 1 for 6. I think we'll go ahead and maybe pop into another game. I thought that was a bit short. Yeah, Metal Earned, Order of Alexander Nevsky. Unfortunately, I don't know who Alexander Nevsky is. I'm not totally touched up with my history. Um, but maybe you guys know. Maybe it's as easy as just going on the Wikipedia page. Alright, so let's jump into another battle and see what this is like. I would really, really want to show off what these uh, 37mm cannons are like. They're ridiculous. I'm sure you guys start to get a feel of what they're like there. I think it's even more funny when you're actually like going up against somebody and you just shoot once with the cannon and you take him out in one shot. You can just imagine them being like, WTF, what is going on? I know it's happened to me a few times. Sometimes when there's the Yak 9T uh, coming my directions, just one shots me. And that's just what happens. It's a 37 millimeter cannon, right? Um, is it unbalanced? It's definitely powerful, that's for sure. Doesn't take too long to reload, 12 seconds to reload once you've got a, an ace crew. That's an ace crew with max reload, so... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Some people say that maybe the weight should be increased on it. But I'm not really here to speak about balance. Uh, I'm more so here to maybe speak about the unbalances. <laughs> I'm not saying how to balance it, but just to show you what uh, is actually out there. Okay, so we can go land on A, and we can also go attack, but uh, I think I will go try to land. I know it's a sort of risky maneuver to do for Krebs. I mean, Krebs is a little bit infamous for failing on how to land, but I think I'll show you guys something that I learned recently. You don't have to freaking be, you don't have to be uh, going at 200 to land. Honestly, you don't. So watch what Krebs is going to do here. Uh, and maybe it would be better to be going around 300. But if you start going touch, touch very lightly. Touch very lightly. See what I'm doing? Okay, well, you guys didn't really... Well, I wasn't really capping there. But you were getting the general gist, right? What you do, you can be going around 300. I was still going a bit too fast at like 400, 500. If you're even at 300, you can still just skim the ground. Skim it. You still need to be touching it. 
like you just uh, skim it. You gotta go lightly. Don't crash, and you can still uh, cap the point. Hello. Uh, more people recognizing Krebs. Uh, by the way, guys, if you ever want to play with Krebs, just add me to your friend list. I play with everyone. Um, I'm sorry I can't play with absolutely everyone because, honestly, as soon as I come on, people are spamming me with messages. So if I don't reply and I don't add you to my squad, I'm sorry. It's just maybe somebody claimed me first or I want to play alone. But, you know, if, if you see me online, do try, do ask. Uh, I do play with the fans very regularly. Uh, I don't see a problem in it. You know, it's better to be fighting in numbers. Okay, so let's go teach this guy a lesson in pain. Already critical. And he's dead. Dum dum dum. And the lesson is... It's a 37mm cannon. And he's coming straight on me. That's a pea shooter. And he's got... Suffers damage of left gear leg. I have never done that to somebody. I have never <laughs> damaged their, their leg before. Actually... Leg, okay, fair enough. Anyway, that's a pea shooter out of the sky. Uh, Krebs has two kills. Right. Uh, maybe what we'll do is head on over to B. I think in the last episode... Oh, I think we'll actually get the Swordfish. Swordfish, I know he's got a guy on him, but... Uh, he's got bombs, and I can teach him a quick lesson in pain. As I like to say. Plus that, our teammate has overshot him, unfortunately. So, let's go sort him out, yeah? Alright, already a critical. And he suffers damage to his left wing. He's on fire, he's gone! Alright, I, I think in the last episode we were doing... Was it? Oh no, that was Epic Moments. But the one before that, we did the episode of Balls Deep. It was on this map, and we were literally going right to the enemy spawn and uh, fighting with the incredible odds, you know? Uh, against against the lion's den, essentially. And that was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can take out anyone here. I, mean, I think I maybe should have reloaded, but uh, who cares? I only spent like two or three bullets. Rounds of my uh, cannon. Okie dokie, so what do we got to offer on the plate? Nobody coming in from the side, which is good news. I don't like people just slapping me from the side. Uh, P40E over here. I think he's a little bit of a menace, so we'll try and take him out first. Plus his closest as well. Okay. Didn't manage to finish him off, unfortunately. But, we can come on top of him. And he's gone. That's good. Right, let's go help out over here. Looks like we've got a few guys. Oh, I think I've actually targeted the wrong person. Yeah, I targeted the wrong person, my bad. <laughs> I wanted to help my teammate who had a few guys on him. Oopsie. Oh shit! Oh fuck. I had a guy on us. And Krebs is out of an engine at the moment. <sighs> Why do these guys have to ruin my fun? No! Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I have a feeling that that was the automatic... Uh, you have to jump out. I hate that thing so much. I honestly hate that thing so much. Why do you have to jump out of your plane automatically after 15 seconds? Can anyone explain that to me? Like, I'd honestly really, really want to find out why the reasoning is behind it. Because I feel like so many times I lose my engine, I get a dead engine, and I can just keep on going. I feel like that so many, many times. Uh, PBY, is he heading this way? He's heading this way. I mean, we could go help our uh, teammates over... God damn it, why can't it come faster? <laughs> I'm thinking about you guys. I know you guys want to see action. I know you guys want to see action, action, action. But I'm thinking about uh, winning this game as well. And the PBY over here, it's a Catalina. They're known to uh, have big bombs on them. In fact, the Catalina can hold up to four 1,000... Or is it 4,000 pound bombs? I think it's four 4,000 pound bombs. Four freaking thousand pound bombs that's ridiculous uh, that's gonna be knocking out your ships instantly so let's try and take him out when he crashes it's effectively gonna be like a nuclear bomb going off that's cool can we hit him in his wings can we hit him in his wings it's a bit hard to do from this angle 
Oh, but he's turning. He's turning. It's going to make it easier. Yeah, look at that go. And now uh, let's just wait a bit. Oh, Catalina, why are you so slow? I think I need to pull off a little bit to the side. I need to get on top of him to make it easier for me. It's good this guy's going for him as well. Alright, let's get on top of him again. Let's see if we can add his wings. Come on, engine, go out. What is going on? The plane's not working properly. I've been hitting his left wing like mad. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, so five kills at the moment. Uh, let's dive on down. Wow, we gained a lot of altitude, didn't I? Look at all those guys para dropping out. That's one. Is that six guys? Six paratroopers. Well, I guess we can destroy the planes. We don't have to kill the guys in them. And we're we're absolutely dominating this game now, aren't we? Uh, we'll head on down. Uh, down to the airfield, maybe get a bit more action going on rather than go for the Blenheim. Um, yeah, we'll get a bit more action. So this is the Yak-1B. I'm sure you guys can already get a feel of what it's like. I haven't done any dogfighting in it just yet. Their team needs to cap. Their team needs to cap. We'll just take out this F-2A Buffalo out of the sky real quick here. Or not. <laughs> and maybe instead we'll go for the P26, who's going to be going in for a cap. There's an I-15 behind him as well, so he's going to be getting wrecked quite quickly. Yeah, he's gone. And Hurricane. Well, damage his tail. Uh, unfortunately, he's low to the ground. Whenever you damage somebody's tail when they're in the air, you can pretty much guarantee that they're going to be crashing. Uh, because they have no control over their plane then to turn left and right. Oh man! The guy beat me. He beat me. Maybe if I didn't go for that Catalina. <laughs> uh, but anyway guys, I think that displays the USSR tier 6 planes a bit for you guys. I think what we'll jump into next time is the tier 8 and we'll display what the uh, other planes are like. Okay? The ones at the other cannons. That'll be fun. Uh, so until next time, guys, this is Krebs, and I will catch you all later. Right, here we go. Three, two, one.